Um, I mean, as anyone knows who has tried to order a, order a Tesla, the demand for our cars is extremely high and the wait list is long. So how's it going everyone? This is Daniel and this video, we are going to be talking about Tesla stock and the overall stock market. We're going to go over and look at exactly can we actually trust the rally, the rallies that we're getting right now? The stock market is going up. Can we get a potential solid bounce or can we get another leg down to the downside? We also gonna be talking about Elon Musk. He recently did an interview. We're gonna go over and look at some of the important things that he mentioned in the interview and also go over some important Tesla and the overall stock market price prediction in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. We're gonna be talking about all this more information coming up. As you can see over here, we have Tesla stock that is sitting at $711.11. We're up 9.35%. We're seeing a very strong bounce for Tesla stock. So we're looking at $650, $700 as being a very key price point levels that we're watching. And today was the day that we actually went above those price point levels and we closed above it. So the overall stock market was also rallying to the upside. But as you can see, we're still down at more than 20%. We're still in the bear market and we are expected to see some form of a bounce because we've been aggressively selling off to the downside. As you can see over here also, except for Facebook, which is now called the Meta and some entertainment stocks, the overall stock market just went up to the upside. You know, Tesla being one of those leaders being up 9.35%. We have Microsoft, Apple, Google, even energy stocks rallied to the upside. So let's go around and look at some detailed breakdown of Tesla stock. So as you can see, we've been watching the $650 price point level. It acted as a pretty good support area for the past few days. And uh, we gapped up and continued to break out of the $700, which is really good. And also the key and the most important thing that we're watching is of course the volume. As you can see, the volume came in and it bought aggressively. So people are coming in and buying Tesla aggressively in this price point levels that we're watching. So that is pretty good. However, when you look at the overall stock market, it's not really that convincing when you look at the volume. So as you can see over here, you know, we had on Friday, it was relatively flat day, but today we didn't have any convincing or massive volume that came in and bought the market. It was a decent move that we got. Of course, it's really important because we've been going down aggressively, as you can see, for the last week we've been going down, the previous week we've been going down. So we're expecting some form of a bounce. So we're still in a bear market at the current moment. We're expecting to see some form of a bounce. We could potentially consolidate and go on another leg down to the downside because we don't have a very solid and strong convincing statement or economic data or some important thing that came out that can change the narrative right now. Unfortunately, in the near future, the Fed is still going to be more aggressive fighting inflation. You know, there is a lot of issues going on right now with the, the job report, the economic data, we're in a recession or not. So we'll see how this goes. But this is a very strong bounce that we see and uh, we can expect another leg down near future unless some massive things change. So that is going to be some of the important things I need to be watching out for. Also, be super careful. So another thing that we're watching, of course, was Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin during the weekend went down to $17,000. As you can see, the low that we made was around $17,000. $500, right? we bounced back to, we we're sitting at right now, $20,778. So this is really important because we know some big companies, even Tesla has Bitcoin in their balance sheet. So, so we definitely need to pay attention to Bitcoin at the same time too. But now let's go over and look at exactly what Elon Musk had to say about the economy, the recession, Tesla employees, all the things that he's involved right now. We're gonna be watching a slight clip of some of the recent interviews that he did. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna go over and look at, you know, what to expect for Tesla and also for the global stock market for tomorrow. You described it, you have a super bad feeling about the economy. Are you still in that position? I just said to you earlier, Joe Biden has just come out and said that a recession in America is not inevitable. How do you feel about the economy? Well, I think a recession is inevitable at some point. Um, as to whether there is a recession in the near term, um, I think that is more likely than not. Uh, it certainly isn't, a, it's not a certainty, but um, it appears more likely than not. Um, and what do you think? I'm, 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 I'm with you. <laughs> I agree with you. I think it's more likely. Most people, it's very obvious you have changed the car industry in a, in a dramatic way. 
I'm quite intrigued by one thing, which is your competitors. Where do you see competition coming from? Do you see it coming from the old car makers coming back at you? I just saw a forecast that maybe in a couple of years' time, Volkswagen would be bigger than you in electric cars. Or do you see it coming from new places? Do you believe that or not? I believe that forecast was, was from you. <laughs> yes, it was, yeah. <laughs> and do you agree so, with that? Uh, I would not agree with that forecast, no. <laughs> and do you, but so, do you see people like Volkswagen and, and General Motors <laughs> and people like that as, as the opponents, or do you see people like China, the new Chinese companies? Where do you see the most vibrant competition in electric cars? I have to say that I, I am very impressed with the... The, the companies and the car companies in China, just in general, uh, with companies in China, I think they're um, extremely competitive, um, hardworking, and smart. And and I think there's going to be uh, just a massive wave of Chinese products going out into the world. Um, there already are, but um, you know, for for example, I think almost all the iPhones are made in China um, uh, by you know, contract manufacturers for Apple. Um, but I think we'll see just a, a large wave of, of products being exported from China in many industries. Um, you know, in, in, electric, in, in electric cars, do they have an advantage yeah. at all? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I do think, well, I should say from a Tesla perspective, we don't really think about other competitors. Um, our constraints are much more in raw materials and, and uh being able to scale up production. Um, so our, our constraints are not um, imposed upon us by competitors, but rather uh, the just imposed upon us by the realities of, of the supply chain um, and building up uh, manufacturing capacity. So, um, I mean, as anyone knows who has tried to order, to order a Tesla, the demand for our cars is extremely high and the wait list is long. So. Our, and, and, and this is not intentional, it, we are increasing production capacity as fast as humanly possible. So, uh, that, that, so like I said, we really don't think about comp competition at all. We just think about how, how do we address the uh, limiting factors in the supply chain um, and in our own industrial capacity. Basically, we need to build the factories faster um, and then we need to look ahead to whatever the choke points are in the whole uh, lithium ion battery supply chain from mining and refining to uh, cathode and anode production and cell formation. So. Can, can, you, can you set the record straight on one thing, which is this issue about the layoffs? I think you said initially that Tesla, 10% of the workforce would be cut, then 10% of salary would be cut, then salary would stay fly, flat and overall headcount would go up. What, what, what is the number? I know there's already, I think, been a, a lawsuit about the 10%. Is, is 10% the goal to reduce the workforce? Or what is the number that we should think about or that you're planning? Yes. Uh, so it, Tesla is reducing the salaried workforce by roughly 10% um, over the next probably three months or so. Um, the... Uh, we expect to grow our, our um, hourly workforce. Uh, it's quite clear that we expect to grow our, our, our hourly workforce, um, but we uh, we grew very fast with, on, the, on the salaried side, um, and we grew a little too fast in some areas, and so it requires a reduction in the salaried workforce. And we're about two thirds uh, hourly and one third salary. So I guess. Technically, a 10% reduction in the salaried workforce is only roughly a three, three and a half percent reduction in total headcount. Um, okay, so, now, so I, think, I, think uh, that num I think that number is important legally, isn't it? Because I think people are trying to say, if you if you're going to lay off 10% of your workforce, you have even in America to make an announcement about that. We did make an announcement. <laughs> um, okay. Yes, um, let, let's not read too much into. Uh, a preemptive law lawsuit that has no standing. Um, that, 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 that is a, a, a small loose lawsuit of minor consequence that just anything that related to Tesla gets big headlines, but it is whether it, it is, um, you know, a, a bicycle accident or something much more serious. Uh, it's still, it, it, it seems like anything related to Tesla gets a lot of clicks, 
whether for, whether it is trivial or significant. Uh, I would put that uh, lawsuit you're referring to in the trivial category. Um, so uh, a year from now, I think our headcount will be higher in both uh, salaried and obviously in hourly. Um, but in the short term of the next few months, uh, we expect to see, like I said, roughly a 10% reduction in uh, salary work, salaried workforce, which is actually just really only a three, three and a half percent reduction in total headcount and uh, not uh, super material. So for tomorrow, we're definitely watching $700. If we can have a continuation move to the upside, that will be fantastic. But the key price point level that we're going to be watching is going to be 700. If you push up another key price point level that we watch is going to be $750. So tomorrow we have the Fed chair Jerome Powell is going to be testifying on the monetary policy at the Senate Banking Committee at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's definitely going to be an important thing that can affect the overall stock market. And we also have on Thursday the initial jobless claims data coming out. So that's going to be a really important data that we need to be watching out for. Also for the overall stock market too, if we can get a continuation move, that is going to be really fantastic. If we get more of a convincing volume, the volume to increase, that would be great. But the key price point level that we're watching is going to be around the 380. And if we cannot hold at that previous price point level, you know, we could potentially consolidate and have another like lower because we still don't have any kind of a solid convincing economic data or the Fed position change, anything like that coming pretty soon. So definitely be on the lookout for that. We're still in a bear market. It's still a great time to buy for the long term, of course, if the stock of the stock market goes down, if Tesla goes down, it is great to, you know, to buy like slowly into average down if it goes down to it is a great time to buy of course but definitely keep in mind that we're still in the bear market these kind of rallies happen a lot so just understand that if, if we if tomorrow let's say we break down and aggressively sell off you're not going to be surprised when that kind of happens so but let me know in the comments from below what do you think about the price action that we saw today what do you think about what elon musk had to say i'll let for your opinion Make sure you drop in the comments from below. Of course, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, hit the like button. I really appreciate that too. But I'll catch you guys on another video. Have a wonderful day.